Revered is one of the best designer fragrances you can get your money on when you can find it in stock anyways because this is so heavily hyped up every time it stocks anywhere it tends to sell out rather quickly of course i'm talking about from rochas this is moustache the eau de parfum so stay tuned Quick look at the presentation. Standard moustache box. I do have the original 1949 EDT, which it's not from 1949, it's a newer one, so very similar style box. Size and concentration. This is a 75 ml. Rochas logo on the top. Nothing on the sides. Same on the back as it is on the front. Some fragrance information and batch code on the bottom. Nothing special, basic box. In regards to this bottle, I do love the moustache bottles. I love the design in the glass. You do have a label glued in, kind of a uh, clear coated plastic vinyl, more of a vinyl, I guess you could say, moustache eau de parfum. You do have some fragrance info on the sticker on the bottom. Rochas embossed going into the cap. Cap does click into place, holds well. And then same color atomizer it is a wide atomizer that puts out quite a bit <sighs> let's talk about this scent so the initial blast for me is all about benzoin and pink pepper i get a sweet vanillic peppery smell kind of gives off an amber type of scent profile really this warm soft amber even though amber is not listed in the notes, it does have a strong amber smell. That being attributed to the benzoin most likely. But the benzoin vanilla combo, it comes off a bit classier than your standard benzoin vanilla type of smell. This pink pepper that's up top does add a sweet peppery type of smell. Not too much on the black pepper side. I've noticed that other fragrances that smell like YSL Tuxedo tend to have more of a black pepper smell. Whereas this has a sweet pepper smell with the pink pepper and that stands out to me pretty pretty heavily up top this one doesn't change a whole lot even as it settles in and that i don't really get the orange that's in here I, I, it doesn't really come across citrusy or orangey in any way to me there is a light freshness up top there's a brightness i'm sure that helps contribute to that but i don't actually smell any orange once it settles in i do start to get a lot more patchouli that's what i notice is different here it's a bit of a creamy patchouli it's not really heavy on the earthy side there's a slight woody nuance though not coming across as cedar there is a light woody nuance. The vanilla comes in heavy. It becomes dominated by vanilla, but the pink pepper takes a very, very good while, I would say. Not long time, not a very long time, but a good while for it to fade. I would say two hours or so in to where it kind of goes away and it becomes all about vanilla and patchouli at that point. And this, like I said, amber smell has an amber smell from start to finish. The quality here is actually excellent. For a designer fragrance it really is one that you can get depending on the size depending on where you find it 50 to 75 80 dollar range from discounters ebay amazon forever lux uh fragrance net fragrance x fragrance buy.ca all these different places when they do get a stock of it it sells out rather quickly because the news spreads like wildfire on social media and people snatch them up because it is actually a lovely smell does not smell synthetic in any way shape or form to me actually smells a bit luxurious to be honest with you and of class not the best choice for a t-shirt though i am actually wearing it right now with this t-shirt it doesn't smell too serious that you can't dress it down with a t-shirt but i would say the scent profile does lean on the more luxurious slightly classier formal elegant side so it does dress up very well the one that, like I said, I'm, I'm just a big time fragrance enthusiast, so I don't care what I'm wearing my fragrances with. I just like to wear really good smelling fragrances. And in my opinion, Mustache EDP is a really good smelling fragrance. Let's discuss the performance. While not an overall beast, above average. Across the board, too. This is in the seven, eight hour range on my skin, which is very well above average. The sweet spot for me personally for most scent profiles is the six to eight hour range. This falls perfectly on the higher end of the sweet spot that I actually prefer. So longevity, 
not an issue whatsoever. I know with others that I've had conversations with on social media that swear by this fragrance, they get a similar experience and performance in that eight-ish hour range. So I would say overall, that's kind of what you could hope for, maybe not expect, but hope for that six to eight hour range because it's gonna be subject to change for everybody. Skin chemistry is different on every one. And just cause I'm getting seven or eight hours, you might get five, you might get 12. Don't know until you spray it on your skin to be completely honest with you, but projection, it's kind of an interesting one. It, uh, not real heavy, not real weak. Somewhere in that moderate, mild, medium, average to slightly above average range. I know that's a lot of different words to describe it, but arm's length, maybe a little better, honestly, but not something that really pushes heavy or is gonna scream, hey, I'm here, look at me. Do you smell me when you walk in a room? You would have to spray this one quite heavy. I would think to get that type of projection off of your skin. Uh, this is one that I spray in the five to seven spray range, which is kind of my usual spray routine for most fragrances, unless it's a weaker, fresher fragrance, then I go a bit heavier. But this is somewhere in between what I would consider a very strong or a very mild fragrance. It falls somewhere in that average to slightly above average range. Longevity and projection. Projections in that hour and a half, two hour range to where it's at its strongest and then it sits a bit close to the skin for the next several hours with it not really sitting too close to the skin till like the six to seven hour mark. I do tend to get pretty strong whiffs of it throughout my day, mainly to the five to six hour range where I would still say it's pretty strong for the most part coming off my skin. Not wildly strong, but you know, strong enough to where it, it hits me in the nose when I do smell it. It's not a light aroma. I get a pretty dense hit of the aroma. So like I said before, projection, longevity, very good across the board. Siage on the moderate side, a little bit stronger siage than you would expect because of the, den the denseness of this, that ambery benzoin vanilla type of scent profile, they tend to linger in the air pretty well, especially in eau de parfum concentration. I'm not exactly sure of the oil concentration, but I would assume it's somewhere in the 18% range. That's usually going concentration rate for most EDPs, especially in the designer realm. And uh, it's definitely above average across the board with a moderate sillage. Overall, I don't know how. I don't know how outside of getting a decant or a sample you can try it, but I would say definitely try before you buy, but I think the hype is justified on Moustache EDP. This is a fantastic fragrance. I've never smelled YSL Tuxedo personally, so I cannot say or weigh in on how close it actually is. But I can tell you all the wonderful things you may have read online or seen about this fragrance, I believe to be true. The performance is there, the scent quality is there. Regardless of how close it is to what it smells similar to as a standalone fragrance, it's a great fragrance. You get your money's worth here. Even if you're paying the higher end from discounters in the 70 to $80 range, I still think it's worth it. Because outside of YSL Tuxedo or other fragrances that are trying to smell like YSL Tuxedo, it's the only thing it smells close to. So if you're looking for that type of scent profile, you might want to get your hands on this one. Cause like I said, the quality is there. The performance is there. The originality of the scent profile, eye of the beholder type of thing. I mean, cause I, I can't, like I said, I can't verify how close or not so close it is to why I sell tuxedo, but standing on its own, it's a fantastic fragrance. And if I got to put an overall rating on it, this is every bit of a 7.5 out of 10. Very, very good fragrance. Well, that is my thoughts in full review on Rochas Moustache, the Eau de Parfum. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you already have a bottle of this or have tried it? Or is this one that's been very sought after for you and you've yet to get in a situation to, to get your hands on a bottle? I would say, you know, when you can, if it interests you, Absolutely. It's a great fragrance. One that I procrastinated getting for a very long time, but I am super happy to have in my collection now because it is a lovely fragrance. Like I said, across the board, it's very good above average. Scent, longevity, sillage, projection, everything, every category, every box is checked to very good or better, in my opinion. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Moustache EDP and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.